what you wanted to live in a house that is haunted. I don't need to be talking all this. I don't need to give no details to these people. Go out here and use about my stepdaddy. You know what I mean? Uh, he passed away. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, a blockage in his uh where he had shot himself years ago, scar tissue, a blockage, you know what I mean? And plus he was old and really sick on oxygen at the time. It hit him all at once and where he couldn't breathe, that, that's what they was worried about when he passed, was trying to, you know what I mean? He was breathing good. He had to go into an emergency surgery, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Stayed together for almost 23 years. People, <laughs> wait till you watch your mother grieve for something they love so much in this world. Because I know the love I have for Junior's mother, Shana, if something happened to them, I can go crazy. When are you going to realize that that skank that you were with for a little over a year and that you beat up is not ever going to have you back? How about that one cop that got his fucking ass license? You know what I mean? Moses Heaps crossed me trying to work with my cousin. I bet he lays down the floor and kicks and screams over that jacket we raffled off. Everybody says that. They're like, God damn, dirt. Your joints look like cigarettes. And they burn better than anybody's. All five people in chat are just impressed with the way his joints burn. You know what I mean? This is a kid that died before his time. He wears a little plaid at like overalls with the big bibs on them that held them together. I see him all the time when I'm like playing guitar or playing something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I was talking about my guns, about how this holster is better than this one earlier. It's just when I was talking to y'all, I glanced over and there he was. Billy is chomping at the bit to get back to that trailer ASAP. If y'all pay attention, like one night they was watching my live feed, this one dude said, dude, somebody's standing in your window. Well, that window's 15 feet off the ground. That was during the Chig send-off party, and you were pretending to be drunk, they were pretending to be a troll, and that window is not 15 feet off the ground. And he was right. I went back, looked at it, you could see a perfect face. Are you so stupid you think that live don't exist, like we can't just go back and look? He's intrigued, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? As a kid that died in the 1800s, he's not a ghost. He's a poltergeist. He moves things. He gets a kick out of it, too, when he moves them. When he sees you getting frustrated because you know you just put it there. Even kids from the afterlife's trolling this fool. And then you'll look everywhere and you'll go right back and right there it'll be. Right where the fuck it was. Sounds like a ghost to me. Or meth. Just get it out on meth and then it's shadow people. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'll look over and watch them walk dead at me, dude. I mean, let's be honest. If I saw Mama Bo walking towards me, I'd think it was a ghost too. Well, I'll just say... Michael Myers, you can fucking decapitate him. You see what I mean? Jason, decapitate him. Chucky's name is Charles Lee Ray. Charles Manson. Lee... Harvey Oswell and Ray who? Dirk, you definitely don't know that. Y'all people, I bet about 90% of y'all didn't even know that. And you still don't know as James Earl Ray. He's named after three most notorious killers of that time. Charles Lee Ray. Well, it's not Ray Charles, man. It was that murderer at the time named something. Ray something might have been Ray. Fuck, I don't know. I just know Charles Manson, Lee Harvey Oswell, and Ray. What's his name? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, I walk by in Castro's house every day of my life. Ain't one of no bitches screaming, homie. He done a lifetime's worth of stuff in the 14 days he spent in Cleveland. He caused gang wars. He debunked the Castro hostage situation. He played semi-pro football. He done it all. They wanted to stay there. Trust me. I thought that fight done happen, that Paul versus Tyson. That little boy that got the beat out of him by that black boy. <laughs> Do you know he lost that fight, right? Even though the fight hasn't happened yet, Dirk, he's already collected his winnings. He beat the shit out of Chris Paul. I, whatever. Jake Paul or Jay Paul, whatever. You know what I mean? Like Tyson said, I sell more weed today than you can make on your fucking YouTube, kid. And then my YouTube. That's why people be hating on people like me, Tyson, all of us. The only thing I know that him and Tyson have in common is beating on women. You know what I'm saying? Where's them, where's them coins at, guys? Throw them coins up here. Uh-oh, somebody's had it now. The castle law is, I mean, it's called the castle constitution. We can own as many as guns we want, and we can carry them across the state line without 
fucking, you know what I mean, concealed carry weapon. If someone would look at you and someone kill you, you have the right to take their life at that moment. It's drugged out idiots like him that just make up their own gun laws is the problem. It's not called the Castle Law, it's called the Co Castle Constitutional. That's what the Castle Law stands for. West Virginia the only one. West Virginia, one other had it. Three, two. That's right. Three states. West Virginia and three others. Two, three, no, two. One, three, two, three. Actually, Durkee, most of the United States has some version of the Castle Doctrine. That's the word you're thinking of. Doctrine. Hitler was already, already in a breakthrough with a ray gun. It was Nico Tesla with the power and with the coil. Mm-hmm. Then you had Heimlich Himmler, the most ruthless. He would take your kid out of your hand and shoot it in the head and burn it or set it on fire in front of you. Germany was the smartest mother beyond us, but they was ruthless the way they did it. And everything we know today, we took from my ancestors of Germany and Scandinavia. He thinks that's what World War II was about, was getting the ray gun from the Hitler and the Scandinavians. Down to the religion. The science, fucking intelligence, and the military. I know what I own in every video on Project Paperclip and Project Blue Planet. I've been to the Holocaust movie and I know my shit. Pakistani, Palestinian. Oh my god, Pakistan and Palestine are not the same place as you idiot. West Virginia is the most UF extraterrestrial. Uh, the, Jeff, the Epstein shit was going down. People understand this. Yeah, they spotted aliens in West Virginia. West Virginia has the biggest telescopes in the world, bro. We have the most paranormal activity, and we have the most extraterrestrial activity in the United States. Little old West Virginia. Think about that. When you go up in these mountains, you always see some shit in the sky. You mix drugs with your stupidity. It's hard to tell what you see in the sky. The day after Roswell... The day after Roswell. Let me keep repeating that. The day after Roswell. Are you people blind? But I don't like to talk much about it because they shut mother, they quiet people up real quick, buddy. People like us that know a little bit too much that we shouldn't. Seventh grade dropout knows just a little bit too much. Everything these kids are taught in these schools are a lie. I was sitting out here one day. But that looked, to me, that was an asteroid. You know what I mean? That looked like an ad because it was burning when it went across the sky. I had a double super buzz. Everybody, you, dude, you can act just like Jesco. You know what I mean? Very stupid because me and Jesco are super and funny. Whoever's telling you you're funny is lying to you. Together. Because I love killing. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's crazy. Disney has 666 in it, you know? They are satanic, bro. The D, the S, and the Y. Take a look at it. You don't see three sixes, you blind. Walt Disney was fucking satanic. He, he ran fucking, he was a devil worshiper. Was just talking to lawyers about, you know, how the language barrier was with some of our family members, you know? They didn't graduate. Sixth grade, well, alone 12th grade. Oh, so that's why you went to the seventh grade. You had to rub it in those sixth grade dropouts' faces. Julia Nix Burgles, I did my homework, bitch, is the producer of The Wild and Wonderful Whites. They wanted us to do the Jersey Shore shit like that. You see what I'm saying? If Candy don't die, it would have went to that. But I was asking for my payment up front. Durkee was never approached to be on any kind of TV show. Him and Minnie Thin entered a contest to be on season two of Buck Wild, and they didn't get more than three votes. I mean, that's why I always, everybody's like, you watch Jersey Shore? I'm like, no, I could, I, that could have been my spot right there. The banner's still up. I got my arms crossed like this. I'm wearing a Van Bulldogs jersey. Tyler was playing that year. You know what I mean? I got his jersey on. You were wearing your nephew's football uniform because you never played, and that was a banner that many things created trying to get y'all votes, and it didn't work. It's my number seven on it. You know what I mean? I'm sitting there. Number seven, Van Bulldog, many things on the other side of the banner. It says season two, coming soon, season two, Buck Wild, many things, and Durkee. And it also said vote now, and you got three votes. The banner still exists, man. You know what I mean? That they was advertising all over the internet. They're not teaching them shit, man. You know what I mean? They let us, you know, it's like me and an ATF agent just spoke about 
They want to give these kids their assignments and say, here you go. I wonder why you were talking to an ATF agent. Hmm. Where's those guns at, Dirk? I partied with the Buckwild people, know them very well, everything. They wanted me and Shane Gandy because they said it was catchy. Nobody wanted you and you were nothing like Shane Gandy. Although his mom would like to talk to you about that money that you scammed off his name. You know what I mean? It's just wild crazy and I didn't give a f and they knew I didn't give a f I was wild. You see what I mean? I was just wild and you went with Darky. That's coming, kind of, you know, it's, you know. They knew he was wild the way he laid around his mama's trailer his whole life and never done anything except for drugs and never had a job. Exact opposite of what Shane Gandy was. Do I look like Polly D, anybody in here? I hate this show for a reason. Yeah, I'm a situation, let me tell you. They got tattoos all over and say West Virginia and you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Old dirty white boy and they shake pill bottles. I hate Snooky, man. You know what I mean? See, that's what I mean. I'm always playing chess with checkers. He's playing chess with checkers. I, would, I wouldn't touch Snooky with your dick, boy. That's why I had every cast of Buck Wild female on a trampoline in my yard stripped naked. Have you ever had that? Neither of you. Hell, you didn't have the trampoline. I know high school is poor more f***ing ass than y'all. High school kids. Man, Billy wants out so bad. You want to talk about older, hotter women? Shakira, Jenner, Anderson. Did he just have a stroke? Shakira, Jenner, Anderson. You want to keep going with that? No, not at all. I wish you would have shut up ten minutes ago. Haunted by the ghost of you and me.